Oops. Should I get my magnets? Yeah, yeah for sure. Magnets. And your thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing in quarantine? We're not uh, observing a six foot separation. Yeah. We just licked each see. other. <laughs> Uh, exciting news. It was a great day in terms of mail today from our favorite girlfriend, Kira. Oh my God, Kira, what is up? We got such cute we got things. The coolest magnets ever that Hold she on. made. Oh my God, she does pottery, you guys. Look at Look this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Can you stand it? Look at this one. I love this one. Oh my God. Hold on. Is that not the cutest? They're little magnets. See the back? They're magnets. But you guys, I opened this one and I was like, I was like, what is this? She's is like, this an elephant? Yeah, or she's is like, like, is this like some sort of a, she's like a, a boar? And I then know. I looked at the magnet on the back and I saw where it was and I was like, oh my God, it's Trump. It's Trump. <laughs> it's Trump's head. Oh my God, it's the cutest thing ever. Isn't that the greatest? I cannot deal. So that happens yeah. and it gets even better because then we get a letter. More <clears> guests, <throat> more guests. Yeah. We're so unbelievably overwhelmed. Spoiled rotten from Dan. Ling Wang. Dan Ling Wang, <laughs> what up? Dan said, dearest chicks, just a little thank you for all the entertainment you give me. Daisy, the hat is for you. I remember you saying you didn't have a MAGA hat. Hold on, I gotta make my hair look good under the hat. Hold on. <laughs> I, need to, I need to tighten it. Hold on, let me tighten, tighten it, it. Okay, let me tighten it. Your wish is my command, my queen. No, that's what it says, for real. <laughs> my husband doesn't even call me that. <laughs> On behalf of the great state of Texas, I'd like to welcome y'all ahead of time. People like your family is what makes Texas great. See? Okay, here we go. So Let she's got a MAGA hat now. Okay, I got my MAGA hat. And then... What do y'all think? You guys... Is it cute? Is it cute or what? See it? It gets even better. See it? Because it says, Mock, the cup is for you. It's pretty self-explanatory. The blanket was supposed to be your original gift, but when I received it, it did not it, yeah. it did not meet my expectations, so I used it for a shipping cushion. Mazel tov. Your laugh, smile, hand puppets brings a smile to my face. Actually, all the mockisms. You're just a beautiful person inside and out. Actually, both of y'all. So, the blanket that he was referring to is a Robbie Williams blanket that he was not happy with. I'm delighted with it. It's like his eyeball. I love it so much. It's his so, eyeball. So he used this to like cushion the the other gifts and here's the cup. Oh my God, you guys. It says I love sex robots on it. And she's obsessed. She's like mad drudge. Oh my God. I just can't. So that, those, and then it said, Rob didn't forget about you, but they wouldn't let me ship a stripper. <laughs> Some BS about trafficking or something. Thanks for the greatness of Paige, the golf chick. Never would have known to the greatness if it wasn't for your astute research. If you ever come to Fort Worth, lap dances are on me. Thank you for all the smiles and laughs. Sincerely, Dan Ling Wang. Is that I not mean, the I cutest? Just can't. Is that not the cutest? People are so nice. I just can't can you guys even see feel. the mega. Can you see the mega? I That's feel like I can't so see you guys. I'm taking this nice. off. Nice. So, okay, so nice. Hold on. Can you see it here? I'll put it close up. Mega. So cute. Anyway, so we're in. Thank you. <laughs> So, what was, in the world? Did everybody like go on lockdown this weekend or what? <laughs> um, yeah, like it's you guys. I, I wouldn't rule it out that there's gonna be this 14 day national quarantine. I feel like that's coming. You mean like lockdown of all businesses and everything? Like 100 percent. Everybody holds up at home for two weeks because Fauci was on all the you know all the stations saying that that would not be. How do they enforce that? Thing? How do they enforce that? I guess with cops, right? Like they just have cops marshalling the streets and saying, so go there, why are you out and about? So it's martial law. Essentially. And actually Gavin Newsom used that word, which was kind of horrifying to hear from Gavin Newsom, saying, well, I mean, you know, we do have the capabilities of moving towards that, but we're not doing that at this juncture. But like that's actually being thrown around. That word is being thrown around like a legit idea. That's where we are. Yeah. And okay. that's kind of terrifying. I don't yeah, know about y'all, but that's, that's, wow. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> yeah, so that's, Dan is saying this will be martial law. Yeah. Yeah, that's, well, that's terrifying. Well, that's neat. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of neat. Um, yeah. Also, here's when I knew things were real, is when I saw that the Win Las Vegas has shut down. So the Win Las Vegas said on Twitter last night, in order to keep our employees and guests safe, we have decided to close Win Las Vegas and Encore on Tuesday, March 17th at 6 p.m. We anticipate we'll be closed for two weeks 
after which we'll evaluate the situation, visit win.com or wininfo.com for regular updates. So that's what I was wondering. It's funny because my, my mother-in-law came to our house this weekend um, and she was asked, she was like, what are they going to do? They're going to shut down Vegas? And I'm like, well, probably. Yeah. Yeah, because we were just sitting there drinking coffee talking about this. And I don't think she understands the like severity of the situation because she's like, why are the casinos in Indiana clothes? I don't understand because I was supposed to get a free TV there. Like <laughs> this week, I was right, supposed to go. She's like, I'm supposed to go and like get my free TV, you know, because she's in her 70s and she doesn't. She's like, so I'm like, what's the deal? And I'm like, this. I don't think you're going to get your free TV. I don't think that's going to happen. Gonna, you're not yeah. going to get your, your thing. So. Yeah, she, I'm like I think I'm pretty sure that the casinos are going to be closed. Yeah, because those yeah. usually accommodate far more than uh, 250 people. Yeah. Yeah. And that, you know, two here in now Indiana, it, now it's 50. Right here in Indiana, 250 people was was made that was put into effect late last week. But then now the CDC is saying we don't want anybody gathered in, in groups of more than 50. Yeah, like across the country, and so now you know governors are going to have to sort that out and figure out how they're going to do that elective surgeries are being canceled yeah because they got to prioritize well i mean you don't really need that nose job do you <laughs> i mean do you need do you it really need it or do you just want it i mean does does kylie jenner really need to get her lips done <laughs> does she really need but to that's have that a done? great point like what do plastic surgeons what are they, are they gonna are they gonna be required to sort of just jump into the coronavirus treatment game. Yeah, I mean, do they? Well, that's the thing. Is like, do they need? Do people really need that stuff done? They're going to have to take surgery centers and use them for other things, right. right? And so either they play ball or they just lose business for whoever, however long, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're going to have to help out with their equipment and their space and all of that stuff. Yeah. This is just a really bizarre time. Like, it's just a very this is a crazy time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to put it except to say that. Who watched the debate last night? Raise your hand. Oh God, I was falling, <laughs> falling asleep, you guys. I I checked out mentally like halfway through. I I was I was about where you were until they started actually fighting and facing each other, and like Bernie started saying, "Go to the YouTube, go to the YouTube, and and watch Joe, you know, lie about." It was things. really hard for me to watch it without an audience. Really? I thought I loved it. I it loved was, it. Really? Was, yeah. See, it was hard. Because I, didn't, it was I hard. felt like they weren't distracted. I was bored. Well, I think it was easy, it was it made it easier for Joe without Yeah. I think he was less distracted without the other people on the stage and then without the audience. I think it helped him focus. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it helped him focus cuz he was able to like form coherent sentences last night. But was he? I know everybody keeps saying that, but I think we've just lowered our expectations of him so much. Yeah, I mean, we definitely <laughs> we definitely have. We yeah, so much. I mean, there's no way that guy should ever be president. I'm just saying in, in comparison to other debates and other situations, he was able to focus a little bit more. We yeah. put him in a situation where he was able to focus. So good for him. I still think he should stay away from sentences of greater than eight words. Yeah. And he should stay away from the presidency. <laughs> yeah. That, he should never. Did you, did you hear him towards the, I can't remember at what point, but it was probably in the last half hour where he started to like brag about how people are coming out for him to vote. And I'm like, dude, you you think an awful lot of yourself right now, but people are just desperate to not have mm -hmm. a commie. And now, based on everything you're saying tonight, you're proving that you're every bit as commie as Bernie. Yeah, the immigration stuff. I was just oh. like, what in the hell is wrong with these people? I mean, he'll lose just based on that. He'll yeah. lose based on that. People don't want open... Right now, that's <laughs> what we want is open borders, dude? Are you out of your mind? And I love how they're both like, no, 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 it's not open borders. That's totally... Yeah, okay. That's fake news. We just don't want to deport anyone, and we want to make sure everyone here illegally okay. stays here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. We don't want open borders. We just want borders that are open. <laughs> okay. I mean, what... I can't yeah, with I, these people. The I mean, it's like, right, this is the opposite of what people want right now. I just... Good Lord. <laughs> just, it was, oh, uh, my God. So I'm trying to think of uh, the, the highlights from that include Biden wanting to shut down basically energy production of any sort. Yeah, the, whole, the fracking thing was, was nuts. And, oh, my God. But, I mean, at the same – and then – but Bernie just looked like this complete lunatic in, in comparison to Biden. But they're both lunatics. Oh, so, they're, they're the same. I think they're, they yeah. become the same person. And Bernie even called him out. He was like, listen, I've been saying all of these things since I was basically 12 years old. You just started saying them within the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm Mr. Consistent Pants. 
you're demented. Yeah. And so you can't just come. I'm, I've always been a communist. <laughs> right. You can't just come yeah. take my ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm glad you think that now, but it's too little too late. And he actually was pretty effective at saying that, I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought Bernie did a good job saying, listen, I'm the one that's been saying this all along. That's neat that you're just jumping on this train right yeah. now. Yeah. But what does that say about between the two of us, who's a better leader? I mean, obviously, they're both psychotic. Yeah. But it was an effective strategy on Bernie's part to say that, I thought. Um, and then you guys catch when, like, at the very beginning, they do the bumping of the elbows, and then, like, immediately, in his opener, Joe coughs right into his hand. Did yeah. you guys catch that? Uh-huh. I mean, seriously. And then they did the whole thing with the six feet apart, and the moderators were like this. Uh-huh. So, yeah. can you just decide mm -hmm. what your messaging is going to be, and, yeah. like have be consistent like Bernie because but I felt like it was obvious though that the moderators were so stumping for Biden yeah I mean it was just it was so blatantly obvious I mean Dan, is her name Dana 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 which is I Dana don't Bash? I I object her to name that is Dana <laughs> it's like your name is Dana just stop trying to make Dana happen <laughs> yeah but but Dana Bash is you can tell it's obvious that she wants Biden to be the guy yeah. just by the way she crafted questions and just the way she went after Bernie. Listen, I'm, I'm not trying to defend Bernie because he's a freaking commie, but I'm just saying, I, I even texted you at one point. I'm like, just give Biden, just do that. Just give him the thing. <laughs> just give him the prize and make him the guy because they all are dying to make him the guy. It's so obvious. Just make him the guy. This is such a dog and pony show at this point. Well, it's you, Bernie, because you won't. What do you got? You won't get out. You just keep on keeping I like on. My Bernie Bros. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna. Those people are gonna just. They're not interested in Joe. They're not. Although Bernie's like, I will totally campaign for oh, you. I, I will totally support yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. It's not okay. gonna help. I, I yeah. just don't think he's gonna sway the crazy Bernie Bros. They're gonna be so mad. Mm -hmm. There's. I mean, they're already talking about being super mad. Yeah. Um, what was another? They're gonna burn it down, right? <laughs> and then, did you remember when they started fighting about who has packs and who doesn't have packs? And they were like, "You have nine packs. You want me to list them?" And and, by, and Bernie was like, "Yes, please list them." And then Biden was like, "Come on, man!" And that was it. And then they just didn't talk about it again. <laughs> Oh my These God. people. They're insane. I mean, they are insane. They both. It was just like the guys from The Muppet Show. Those old dudes from The Muppet Show. <laughs> and then there was I the cannot. moment where Biden was like, I don't want to get into a back and forth about our policies. This is what a debate is. <laughs> oh my God. Like, please look up the actual definition of debate. And oh you will God. find that it's a back and forth mm -hmm. about your policy. Yeah, but they told him at the beginning, Mock, that it was going to be a conversation. <laughs> they were just going to be up there having a conversation. And Joe just oh wants to be God. friends with everybody. He just wants to be friends. <laughs> so <laughs> dumb. It's so dumb. Oh, that was so good. All right. What else are we talking about today? Because well, I literally am so behind on everything. We've been doing books this morning. Yeah, more we're books. getting almost done with our done. shipments. Mm -hmm. We've got. A, I got to go buy more stamps uh, today, so I'm going to be doing that, and then we will. But for sure, like by the middle of this week, all of them are going to be out. So if you don't have your book, I would say within seven to ten days from right now, then that's that's not okay. Like you should probably have it by then, because yeah. we will have shipped them all out by mid this week, and that is that is a promise. So there's travel bans everywhere. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can't go anywhere. Mm -mm. And if you're in the military or you're like a spouse of a military or any way connected to the military, you can't even fly domestically right now. Like mm -hmm. you are locked down. Mm -hmm. So that hasn't happened um, for the rest of the civilian population. Like if you wanted to still fly across the country, you could. Um, and I know people still are, but it's not very many people. And that whole industry is slowing down. Every industry is slowing down. Yeah. yeah. And so, Which is gosh, I mean, be a I don't problem. know what's going to become of us if there is, in fact, a national 14-day quarantine because um, I think that we are supposed to continue to do what we do. <laughs> I Which mean, is radio. people listen to the yeah. news on the radio, mm -hmm. yeah. and so we're going to have to continue. We're the, we're, it's like us. It's us, and um, there's, what, like six? Six of us that come in here every six of us, and then there's a couple producers that come in here every day, which is what they mm -hmm. told us last Friday. Um, our program director's like, so this is how it's gonna be. And there's like a handful of us that still come in here. You know, we just wipe everything down. Yeah. Um, it's just us and a bunch of dirty boys. <laughs> And we just we just come in here every day. Yeah. This is what we do. Just some dirty boys. You, know, you just hope for the best. You do a couple like prayers 
and just hope that everything's going to be cool. But, you know, it's everybody else is gone. Which, I, listen. I'm cool with that. And we rarely, we're like in a part of our floor where we rarely see anybody anyway. And so. I feel like since we've been here over the past, you know, what, almost seven years, if we haven't caught anything by now. For real. This place is gross. It's I disgusting. mean, I feel like we could have gotten botulism and all sorts of, this, the floor, everything's gross in here. I feel like we've built up quite a tolerance <laughs> to a lot of different diseases, so. Yeah, for real. I think we, if we would have, if we were going to get super sick. Now, yeah. granted, I did have pneumonia, what was that, three years ago? Mm -hmm. Um, that was weird. And I'm absolutely positive I caught it from yeah. something in Yeah, and this I've place. had bronchitis like twice because of this place. I've gotten sick more times just by being here. Yeah, so if we haven't gotten it by now. It's, yeah. I think we're, we're going to be all right. Yeah. Um, there, we're going to be talking about how, in what way this all could impact the upcoming elections. Of course, two states have already said... We're going to postpone our primaries. And now, you know, there's there's another Tuesday, there's another round of voting tomorrow that's taking place. And I don't know how that's supposed to work. If the CDC is saying more than 50 people can't congregate, how exactly is poll, our polling places going to operate? I don't... I'm, I'm guessing they're just going to make people stand in line six feet apart. I don't know how this is going to work. That's going to make for some long lines. That, yeah, that's going to make for some long lines, uh -huh. indeed. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about those two Tennessee people, the brothers who bought up like 17,000 hand sanitizers and then tried to make like a boatload of money off And they of did them. make a boatload of money. They did. Those jerks. They did make a ton of money. Uh, we're going to talk about Andrew Gillum and his gay meth bust um, that it's, is now... It's 93.1 in Indiana. It's not 83.1. It's 93.1. That's 93. our station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. W-I-B-C. Uh, Andrew Gillum has now released a statement, one of those statements that says, after some deep reflection and discussions with my family, yeah. I'm resigning from all public mm. life. Yeah. Please give me and my family privacy during this horrible time. Yeah. I'm a maybe, freaky freak. Maybe don't do meth with gay yeah. escorts. Maybe you shouldn't be such a freaky freak. I mean, yeah. this is not complicated. Yeah. Speaking of freaky freaks, in India, they are bathing in cow poop and drinking cow urine well, um, as a way to fight against coronavirus. Well, I mean, don't try to tell me that some cultures are not better than others. I kind of feel like that's not going to help. <laughs> I feel like that's it's not, like the worst, most like disgusting thing you could do ever. Going to be helpful. We're also going to be talking about that on our show today. Yeah, the cow poop and the cow urine. I feel like, yikes! Just don't do that. It's a pro, um, pro tip coming from the chicks. <laughs> exactly. I feel like we're going to give you some advice today on how not to deal with coronavirus. Don't bathe in cow poop. The cow poop's not going to help you. Not going to not going to help not you guys. Do it. <laughs> not going to do it, you guys. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, what no. else? I mean, really, that's what's going on. Cause it's like, just a lot of the virus. <laughs> just a lot of virus. A lot talk of virus talk today. And a lot of uh, debate yeah. recapping. Yeah. And oh, that's also AOC does. A, she's kind of backing off of Bernie Sanders because of Joe Rogan. Because <laughs> I guess Joe Rogan is ill. <laughs> Yeah, and what's her problem with him? I because don't even he said something about um, trans people. Oh, right, right, right. So if, and so if Bernie uses him as a endorsement. Then she's like, "Oh God, he said mean things about trans people." Ew. So now I can't endorse. I can't. Her. I mean, she's still endorsing him. She's she's not doing a lot she of events. She has to back off she because back Joe off. Rogan. Ew. So this is what this, <laughs> this, this is how this is how they work. <laughs> so the liberals do it. Remember how last week she was like. If you don't patron Chinese restaurants, yeah. you're so racist. Yeah. And like now she's saying, don't go out. And so she's racist against everybody. Everybody. Apparently. Everybody. Because she doesn't want you to eat anywhere she's at all a, ever. She's an everybody-ist. <laughs> she's just a restaurant-ist is what she is. Just... Why aren't you eating at Panda Express? <laughs> Why aren't you eating there? Stop it. Oh my gosh. So we're, we're kind of waiting to see if our governor here in Indiana does the same thing that Illinois and Ohio did, which is to literally shut down bars and restaurants. My prediction is yes. I just really yeah, hope I, that he, I hope what he does is he says, listen, the CDC says no more than 50 people congregated. Bars and restaurants can be open as long as they figure out their own way yeah. of making that a thing. I'm just. She's very positive, and I just. My fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my prediction is it's all gonna 
they're just gonna shut it down because everybody is freaking out and losing their minds and they're all just you know thinking like crazy people so this is what just we're gonna do we're all gonna it's all gonna be crazy and the government's be the government's gonna do this whole martial law thing and we're all just gonna be sitting in our homes that's what's gonna happen Rob, producer Rob, who, by the way, is not here today, um, he is freaking out on a whole other level just from the standpoint of how dare they take away our liberties to have our businesses be open, and they, they have no business shutting down businesses like this, and he's completely freaking out and thinks that if they're doing this now, these are things that cannot be undone, that he thinks the more freedoms we <laughs> give up right now, that means we're losing them long term. And I hear it, but I also do understand that we are living in unprecedented times, and I understand that there needs to be a strong reaction to that. So I'm a little on the fence about that. You know? Do you have an opinion? Well, <laughs> um, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like how the government is like, we're going to shut everything down. And how, you know, I'm like watching that debate last night and they're like, okay, so we're shutting everything down. And then like people are losing their livelihoods. And how is the government going to swoop in and help everybody? It's unprecedented, but it's also, um, it's, it's a very unnerving because it's a way for the government to basically start controlling everything. So I there's know. my tinfoil hat. Sorry. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I feel very conflicted about that. There's the part of me that gets all, don't you mess with my freedom. Right? Like, they're already messing with it. Live free. They're already messing with it. But they're, yeah. But then, they're, but, but. Because it, this is a, it's a, it's a very easy way for them to, to step in and start, you know, saying, oh, we're, so we're telling you to shut everything down and now we can swoop in and save you. We can save you. Because now we have to figure out a way to, because people can't pay their mortgages now, right? So we have the, the almighty government has to come in and save you. Speaking of which, Tulsi was on Twitter last night because, of course, she didn't make the debate stage. And she was, like, t tweeting at the moderators, demanding that they ask Bernie and Biden about her plan, which is to immediately offer $1,000 a month, like, basically, Andrew Yang's whole idea of universal basic income, $1,000 a month to those affected by this crisis right now, starting now, until we get over the hump. And so... Um, you know, these are, these are, it's exactly like what you say. Like you start to give people stuff and you, and then how do you take that back? You don't. There's no take back seats, There's no take right? back mm -hmm. And the same is true about removing freedoms. I, that's what's really kind of scary. And it goes back to the whole point and somebody just mentioned it here and I'm sure I'll get crap about it, but it's, this is not killing as many people as the flu does. But it has a higher death rate. And, the, and so that, that's why they're so interested in flattening the curve. Which I get, and that's the thing, that's where I get so conflicted because I'm like, listen, if all of this containment does actually work, we're going to be looking back on this time thinking that sucked, but thank God we did it, right? And so this is why I'm all over the place about how to feel. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> and I'm probably not alone. Like, there's, there's people who are probably like, this sucks and I'm going to go to all the bars and you can't force them to close. And then there's people like, you know, my mom who's basically holed up in one room of her house. So, I mean, you know, I get it. I get that there's a lot of conflicting feelings on this. It just sucks, right? Yeah. That much I think we can all agree on. Yeah, I just will never, I don't feel like the government can save me. I'm just one of those people I don't feel like the government will and can save me. I just don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want to ever rely on them to do that. No, that is, that's the worst thing that anybody can do is rely mm -hmm. on the government. Yeah. Safety net is one thing. Relying forever in perpetuity, that's a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you to Kira oh my for God. these amazing it's magnets. so great. Thank you to Dan, what was his last name? Ling Wang. Ling Wang! For the amazing hat. So great. And the amazing cup. <laughs> She does love sex robots, like almost as much as a, almost it. as much as Matt Drudge. Yeah. I don't actually have any though. Well, I'm pretty sure Matt Drudge has. That we know of. <laughs> that pretty we know sure of. Matt that she's Drudge. willing to admit. I promise. If I had one, I would totally bring it in and be like, "Look, you guys, this is what it looks like." Yeah, I don't. So yeah. I don't have that kind of money. Definitely don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you, Dan, for the blanket. For the blanket with and... Robbie Williams' face, like half face. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted. I know there were questions last Friday about what's the update on books. We'll keep you posted about. We've we're down we're work. down to like two piles, and we're gonna send a bunch more out. I'm gonna take some more to my post office today, and then um, you know we're down to a couple piles, so we're good. But we'll we're keep you abreast good. on further future inventory. Yeah. Um, nothing yet. 
we're, so we're almost, let you we're know. almost done, you guys. Yeah. I like how somebody says live your life. And you guys, I totally agree with that. Yes. Just live your lives. Yeah, to the extent you can. The things are open. Like I was going to take my kid to lacrosse practice. It's canceled. Yeah. But we, so. got, we got our daughter a bike yesterday. We went and like bought her a bike because it's been like two and a half years since she's had a bike. And it, she's outgrown her little tiny bike. And so I was like, you know what? If you're going to be stuck at home and you can't go swim at, at your because she's a swimmer, yeah. well, you're going to do something. And so we got her a bike yesterday. And so she's going to be out biking in our because we have a, a long driveway. And so I'm like, you're going to be doing something. You're not going to be stuck inside the whole time. So you're going to get your butt outside. You're going to be doing stuff outside. So she's going to be outside biking. That's and that. And you can still walk dogs yeah. and take walks. And you're not going to be cooped up in this house. You're going to be outside doing things. So this is this is the way it's going to be. Anywho, live your lives. Live your lives. We'll get through it. We will. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. Here we go. You guys have a great Monday. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.